Hey you guys, I'm Brianna Lenz and today is floss tube number 27. Well, hello. I'm so glad that you are here. Like I said, I'm Brianna Lenz and I have so many new subscribers. So if this is the first time that you're seeing one of my new floss tubes, hi, I'm so happy you found me. And I do this every two to four weeks. I upload a floss tube and I talk about all my cross stitching. On my channel, I talk about crochet, cross stitch, sometimes sewing, and a lot of other things usually having to do with arts and crafts, all the things. And I just thought that since I have so many new subscribers that before I get started, I would share just a couple things about me because so many of you are new. So again, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you have found me. Probably a lot of you have found me from my 50 videos where I share 50 fall cross stitch patterns and 50 Halloween cross stitch patterns or 50 crochet patterns, maybe any. Um, and I have had so much fun making those videos. And if you are anticipating my next video, that will be up within the next five to 10 days. I don't know exactly what day it's going to be uploaded, but it will be uploaded very soon. I have family coming in this coming weekend. And so it's just a matter of figuring out when I can get it uploaded. Um, let's see a little bit about me. So my name is Brianna. Sometimes people call me Bree. I am 35. I just had my birthday last week and today is actually my anniversary, but we've been celebrating all weekend long. Uh, I am a stay-at-home mom and I homeschool my two girls and we have a wonderful time. My husband works his butt off to provide that for us and we are so thankful to him for the life that he provides us. We live in Oklahoma and we are happy to be here in Oklahoma. Love it here. It is mid-October and we've had our first real fall day yesterday and it was just lovely. It was actually cool and today we went out and um, we saw different changes like in some of our local creek bottoms and there were mushrooms and it was so cool because some of these mushrooms that we found were uh, some that I had never seen in real life before. Um, also, we went to one of our honey holes and went fishing and that is where I got mosquito bites. So if you see these big red <laughs> spots, they're not zits, <laughs> they're not pimples, they're mosquito bites and they're only going to get bigger. <laughs> So my husband yelled at me, he's like, you might want to put on some bug spray. And I was like, I don't want to put on bug spray. Should have put on bug spray. So yeah, I think I might have one or two in my ear too. Yeah. I didn't even catch any fish. He caught two fish. He either caught two fish or he caught the same fish twice. <laughs> um, so yeah, we like to go do all that kind of stuff. We're, we're country people. We live the rural lifestyle and we love it. I'm originally from Southern California, born and raised, and then we lived in Colorado for five years, and now we live in Oklahoma, and we love it here, and we're glad to be here. Like I said, um, today I'm wearing a shirt that I just got in the mail. I designed this SVG. It's a uh, spooky season, and it is like the um, skeleton peace sign inside of an embroidery hoop, and I love it. I have an Etsy shop, Brianna Lentz shop on Etsy. I'll link that down below and I'll also probably have it on the screen. And I sh I sell SVGs. So if you are a Cricut person or you make t-shirts and anything like that, I have a ton of crafting and book related SVGs and I'm gonna be making homeschool related SVGs to come too. So if that's something that you are interested in, go check out Brianna Lentz shop. And I have quite a few up there and I'll be uploading more going into the Christmas and holiday season. I thought about um, print making shirts and tote bags on demand. I said something about it on Instagram, but I'm not really sure if I'm going to do that or if I'm just going to make the SVGs and, and call it good. Um, it's just maybe one, one step too far, so we'll see. I'm always up to something. Uh, I have crochet patterns up there too. I do, like I said, I do a lot of crochet, and so I have crochet patterns and I have cross-stitch patterns, and I'll just be increasing that to come. If you are a cross stitcher and are looking to have uh, more beginner friendly crochet videos, then that is also something that I'll be having on my channel. I'm doing a lot of things working on creating a lot of consistent cross stitch and crochet related content weekly for all of you guys. And it's cool because everything that I upload to YouTube, my kids will have in the future too, which is really awesome. We live a simple life. We live a handmade, homemade life. We have animals. We have um, 
you know, we've had gardens. We, we do that whole simple living. I bake, I cook, my husband cooks a lot and we're all very hands-on. My kids are very artistic and craftsy and, um, we value the academics and we value the arts very much. Um, behind me, if you see things behind, I have it on cinematic view, so it's focusing on my on my face. But uh, before I get into the cross stitching, I just wanted to share a couple of things that if you follow me on Instagram, Brianna underscore lens on Instagram, um, I recently shared that we made our own beef tallow, and I've used this. This is a hand salve where, um, see, I've used it. I don't want to put any on right now because I'm going to put on my stitching, but I put this on at night after I'm done stitching for the night and everything. Um, this is just beef tallow with lavender essential oil and it just, it smells wonderful. Beef tallow is so uh, minimal to where it'll pick up whatever scent you want to add to it. And so we're going to do some with mint and some, I want to do some with uh, canola, canola oil, <laughs> uh, citronella for next summer. And anyway, so we took some beef fat from our local butcher and we rendered it down in our crock pot all day, strained it, put it into a big jar and that's gonna be our big food jar that it is food stable. And then we took some and I wanted to have a hand staff. And so we are trying this out and I love it. So if that's something that you would like to see me do like a full video on, comment down below because I'd be happy to do it. Um, and I share a lot of my stories of our home life in my stories. Not necessarily on my feet or anything like that. And then behind here, I have primitive pumpkins. I love making primitive things. And I made this trio of pumpkins that I think was a pattern from Chestnut Junction. I have a whole video where I share uh, how I made these because they differ from her pattern. And so if you'd like to watch that, I'll link that down below too. Because it is fun. I made this two years ago. I made these two years ago. So I made an orange one. And I usually have this, in, oh, there it goes. I usually have this in the other room, but I wanted to share these with you guys. So I'm gonna focus on my face. So, and I've got this one. I love these. These are one of my favorite things to bring out for fall. Oh, they're not gonna sit up as nice now. But yeah, I love making primitive crafts. They are so fun. And then another thing that I have back here is a Busilla felt, which I did a review on. I need to complete the rest of these ornaments, but I do love doing this. This was my first one. I can't wait to make more because I think they'll only get better as I go on. But I just, this was my favorite one. I want to do the ghost next. And I had a cross stitch pattern back here, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And I just have some... Some of these that I collected and one day I will have samplers wrapped around them. But yeah, so I do a lot of things. I just thought that it'd be fun to share that um, in some of my videos and my 50 cr uh, cross stitch Halloween patterns. Um, I have this in the background. This is a stitching with a housewives pattern and I did this I think two years ago when they first started coming out with patterns and I just changed the colors to make them look a little bit more slasher. I change the colors and the typography with a Y, and uh, I like that a lot. Usually I have that on my candy dish. And then I might have shown this on a previous one, but I also, this is another stitching with their housewives that I have out, but I just darkened everything. So, love that. Anyway, yeah, so I have had a lot of fun making those 50 videos and I've really enjoyed corresponding with all of you. I love corresponding in the comments. So if you ever leave me a comment, I try my best to respond to you within 24 hours because I really appreciate you taking your time to write to me. Um, I really appreciate the people that have shouted me out on their channels. I, that has been so lovely and on their Instagrams. And uh, I just really want to shout out my friend Jan, hooping it up with Jan. She's new to Floss 2. She just uploaded her second one and she's just lovely. I really like interacting with her and I just wanted to shout her out because she's wonderful. So if you haven't already, she's brand new to Floss 2, go check her out. And um, if you are here because she shouted me out, thank you so much, Jan. I appreciate it. So let's move on to what I've been going on. I've got a lot to share uh, and in no particular order. <laughs> there is, I just have a lot here and I thought, let's go do this. Um, so first thing I will be sharing is my finish. 
is uh, the Adam, Autumn's, a sorry, I have my ring light, but it is the Autumn's Acorn Gathering by Brenda Gervais. I have a project sheet that you can download on my website, briannalentz.com. And um, where if you like taking notes on your different projects, then I, I do too. And I like having um, different project planners. And so I just wanted to share, I have my floss tube notes as a free download at briannalentz.com, which I really like using it. And I shared that in my last video and just briefly I'll show you um, my project page so I have all of my color conversions written down here and I have my first my start date and my end date for one of two because I did, completed one of them and here she is I did the gal And I really enjoyed stitching this. This was um, more challenging than I thought I would be <laughs> just because of me. And I changed all the colors because I was working on um, Babushka's Blossoms by Plum Street Sampler. And so I just thought I would uh, grab what I had out already because they were pretty close, similar. And then for the squirrel and her dress and things, I changed the colors to uh, Confederate Gray, River Rocks, 12 Grain, and then I believe Coffee coffee bean or blackbird so I have the color changes in here and I have these set aside because I will be using them for the second squirrel and so the ones that I just didn't have handy in my bag from babushka's blossoms which I have right here whatever colors I needed to substitute because I'm working on this I didn't touch this very much because I really that squirrel took a lot of my effort but these are all the colors for Babushka's Blossoms. And I might as well just show you in case you didn't see my last floss too. I started working some more on the pumpkin, but I just didn't pick this one up very much. Um, I guess I did, I got some of the pumpkin then. I really wanna work more on that this coming uh, two weeks. Anyway, so the ones that I needed out of there, I have this tin that I got from Goodwill or Arc, something like that. I just, I have this, like all of my fancy floss and so I just picked from there. I know I need to have like a prettier way to store it, but for right now, that's what I have. And then um, I've started making floss rings and like putting what projects for my flosses I have collect, like starting to collect. But previous me didn't do that. So I have like floss rings on here with fancy floss that I don't know where they belong to. <laughs> naughty, naughty girl. So I will, I am better at that now. And I have also started putting like the tags of what my floss or what my, um, stitching is if I am not going to be near it for very much I've started making tags for that which I need to make tags for some of my other ones but I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about soon so that way I don't forget what I'm working on or if I have a scrap so yeah so I did this the squirrel and I was off by a row so my pumpkin is a little bit squished and that's okay I wanted to make sure her feet were correct and uh, I did all of the pretty embellishments except for her acorn. I just kept it to regular stitching and then I didn't put the little leaf that the crow is holding. I just kept it normal. And then I just did a single line of stitching for the arm. But I really like it, I really like it a lot. So what I wanna do is I wanna start on the second squirrel immediately. Like if you knit, like you know, second, so second sock syndrome, like if you finish a sock you immediately have to cast on the second one otherwise you may never finish the pair of socks so i need to start him immediately so that way i don't end up with just one of the two and i can't wait he's so adorable i love that he's stout looking so i'm really excited to work on him as well and i chose to do the female squirrel because she had the pumpkin and i thought okay well that's definitely halloweeny so in october i'll do her and in november um, while I'm still in the autumnal feel, I can do the, the male where he's just holding an acorn and there isn't necessarily like a Halloween vibe. So, 
take out my sheet. So yeah, I loved that and I liked having my sheet to work on to, to notate all of my changes. Um, my birthday, like I said, was last week and I chose a birthday start, which is also part of haul. It's this Buttons and Beads uh, Autumn Series and it is the Haunted Cottage. And I have the beads back here. And I uploaded a video this past Friday about an organization hack that I shared. And I really enjoyed uh, getting it all set. And in it, I just share how I was able to quickly get all of these onto a floss card that I got from Hobby Lobby. And um, in the video, I just share my, my hack and the tools that I use to, to be uh, as efficient as possible in getting started because I'm all about the prep before I start stitching. So that way I have, um, you know, I can just stitch and pick it up and stitch as fast as I can. Cause a lot of my stitching, I do like 15 to 30 minutes if I'm lucky at a time. So having that organization is key. And this is my progress so far. So I'm about to start adding the beads. And I have been asked to do a part two to my organization so I can do like, how do I organize the beads? So I will be doing a part two to my Mill Hill organization hack, and this time I'll be talking about beads. However, I need to get my third uh, tool. I'm going to be testing three different beading tools, and I'll let you know, and I'll follow along with the pro have you follow along with me via video, which tool I think worked the best in efficiency, organization, um, ease, you, you know, you, use of ease, ease of use, ease of use, you know. That kind of a thing. So I'll bring you along with part two, which is very, I'm very excited to do that. And so I will continue to be working on Mill Hill. I like Mill Hill and I am excited to be doing that large one, buttons and beads. And for the, uh, for the, for the frame, Mill Hill frames are expensive, like $17. And so on Amazon, you can get a frame, like a wooden frame for $6.99, maybe $5.99, $6 total. And if you have Amazon Prime, you'll get it shipped for free and it's blank. And then all you have to do is just paint it whatever color you want. And so six into 18, that's a third of the price. So, I mean, approximately, you know? So if that's something that you're looking for to do, and like if you're close to finishing your first large um, Buttons and Bees Mill Hill, look on Amazon. I'll link it down below because I have it in my wish list just for when I'm close to finishing, then I'll go ahead and get that coming. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to kind of go in between, let's see. Uh, another thing that I've started is I am, um, I was supposed to write this down. I am part of, <coughs> excuse me. I am doing the We Santa stitch along and, um, I will put down here the lovely ladies who are hosting it. I can't remember their names. I didn't write it down. And this is the We Santa 2023 by Heart and Hand. And the lovely ladies hosting the stitch along has broken down this chart into three sections. So you do the flowers one week, the second week you do the Santa, and then the third week you just finish up the rest. And I that started on October 13th and I went ahead and I got this off 123 stitch, which it does come with a little button pack. Can't show it to you, but there's a little button pack in here and it's very cute. And I think this is adorable. I haven't done one of Heart and Hands We Santas before, so I thought this was super adorable and I loved the colors. These are all the DMCs that you use in it. I'm sure that you've seen this on Instagram if you are on IG. Very bright colors. I just made some floss drops from some fun uh, Christmas paper at Hobby Lobby. I have this in a Christmas bag that I made a couple years ago. I need like a bright one. I need a bright bag. And I don't have my stitching. Where's my, oh, it's in the other room. Hold on, hold please. And here is my progress. So I've done the big quilty flower, which I just love. I love the colors. So I'm almost done with week one. I, this was the biggest part was right here. 
Now I just have to do the stems and the little flowers. And I'm gonna be doing it week by week. So I'm really enjoying that. I'm really uh, you know, grateful to those ladies for hosting that stitch along because that is really fun. I am quickly gonna move into crochet because I have it right here. I am starting a crochet along on Wednesday and it is the Ami of the Month by Hirschner's The Wobbles and Gobbles Turkey. And so I'm going to be posting a lot of videos about this on my channel. So if you're not a crocheter, but you just like watching crochet or are interested in it, um, I have a lot of these videos coming and I can't wait to make him. This is the first time that I'm doing a amigurumi kit by Hirschner's and I'm really excited. I do a lot of reviews on different amigurumi kits by different companies or I like I review crochet patterns. So I had my friend Misty and Stitches. Um, tell me about this and I instantly bought it along with a couple other kits that I will be doing on my channel and so now I'm going to be uh, doing this crochet along with Missy and Stitches as well as Calico underscore Whimsy which many of you might watch her on FlossTube as well. She does a lot of Mill Hill and she has a wonderful video on all of her Mill Hill finishes that she's done so if you haven't already go check out the, those ladies on Instagram and FlossTube. So yeah I'm going to be starting this on Wednesday. Can't wait. Okay, moving on, I have my basket right here. It's a beautiful basket from Dollar Tree. I don't know, maybe I got it for a dollar or a dollar twenty-five. I can't remember, but it looks rather new, so maybe I got it for a dollar twenty-five. And <clears throat> on top is something I'm really excited. I got this in the mail today, and this is Christmas. I'm gonna be going between autumn and Christmas through here and Halloween. But this is a Shannon Christine Designs, and I saw this and I was like instantaneous. Because I was buying fabric for a design. And this just hopped right into my cart. I don't even know how it happened. I'm going to have to ask Shannon and Christine if she has some magical powers on 1, 2, 3, Stitch. Because it was just like I saw it. I bought it. I don't... Some October magic right there. But how cute, right? So, I love it. <laughs> Look at the little tea bag. So cute. There's a lot of glare because of the green light. So, while I was waiting for this to come in the mail... I took out some 14 count Ada and I dyed it and I am so happy with the color that came out. That's pretty true to how the color is. It's just this really light sand color. And I think it's going to pair so well with the bright colors of this pattern. And it's 40 by 54, so it's small. This is going to be a really cute ornament or just a cute piece to go. I want to have a um, gingerbread the hot cocoa themed uh, tear tray. So I think I'm going to do a gingerbread tear tray and I want to do all the hot cocoa stitching and I want to have a hot cocoa bar for me and my girls because we all love having hot cocoa during the winter and the Christmas months. And so I decided that's, that's happening. I'm going to be doing gingerbread and hot cocoa and I think it's adorable. So this is awesome. I'm so thrilled with how this Brit dyed Ada came out and because it's so big and that ch that chart is so small I'm gonna have plenty to stitch more things on with that so I have that but then I have this to go with my hot cocoa bar peppermint cocoa cookies by Mill Hill buttons and beads how adorable is that and so the perforated paper is red and it has a ton of beads I love doing the beads so I am so excited to be trying these different um, bead techniques to see what works the best for me because I really love them. And again, I'm going to be using the hack that I used in my video to sort all those threads. And I really do enjoy doing that. So I'll probably record me um, organizing this as well. And I'm not going to wait. I'm going to go ahead when I have the opportunity probably after Christmas to go ahead and start this through November and maybe I'll have it up for my hot cocoa bar in December. But yeah. How cute is that? So one, two, three stitch has this. And then and something that I wanna start, I've had this for a while, but this is something that I really would like to start. And I shared this a while ago, but I would like to start the We One Autumn Birds by Heart and Hand. And this one comes with, you have to buy the little beads and I have the little um, autumn flowers that you can get separate that go on the chart right here. And so this is really small. This would be a really fast finish. This is stitched on 32 count linen and it is 42 inches wide by 78 inches high, 2.75 inches by five. 
Yeah, so I'm excited to get that stitch. And this should be fast. And this is on a little scrap of 32 count Platinum Lugana. So already ready to go. <clears throat> I have this on. I think I had like scraps of this and I just made a smaller bag. And I like this. This I've had a couple bags on this fabric. Just very autumnal. It's a perfect little size for small projects. Okay, something else that I would like to start is from the Halloween 2018 Special Collector's Issue is the Cross Stitch Magazine. And this is something that I've... Chickens are squawking. This is something that I've had kitted since I lived in Colorado. So I really would like to get this going. So if I don't start it, I'm not going to stitch it. I can remember kitting this up at Michael's in Colorado. And it is the Batty Bakery. Yeah, Batty Bakery. I'll show you on this page because it doesn't have the chart. How cute, right? So yeah, I really would like to do that. So that is Batty Bakery by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And it is on 28 count linen and only requires a couple strands. And let's see how big is it? 57 by 51 inches. And I have 28 count wood violet jobelin even weave. And here are the threads. And here is the fabric. So I bought this years ago, so I don't even know if they still have this or not, but. I think it's a really pretty purple. That is something that I would like to start and finish before Halloween. <clears throat> Again, that was the 2018 Halloween Costage Magazine. I'm not sure if you have a favorite needle that you use, but I, I, I'll use any needle, but my favorite to use is the, are the Peacemakers and it doesn't matter size 24, 26, or 28. These are my favorite. And you can get these for a pretty good deal on one, two, three stitch if you're interested. So if you haven't tried these before, I really recommend them. These are my size 28 needles that I like using for 40 count fabric. I'm gonna put that there. And so I have Hickey Pickety, which I've shown a lot. And I'm just gonna be pulling these colors from Stash and I'm gonna be stitching that on this 40 count piece of Newcastle, uh, ancient Newcastle. Did I picture this plus? I really like the color lot that I got. So hickety pickety on that, I think it's gonna look really cool. I thought I was gonna start that on my birthday, but I just really wanted to start that Mill Hill and I'm really glad that I did. So that is in the queue. Also in the queue, I just, I'm ready to start stitching on some Christmas. So I've been looking at these Christmas patterns for my videos and I really want to do the hot cocoa bar. So I found the hot cocoa and Christmas cheer by Primrose Cottage Stitches. I don't think I'm gonna be putting this in my popular video, but I, if I make a video all about like what designs I think would be really cute for Hot Cocoa Bar, which if, if that's something that you'd like to see, I'm all here for it, then um, this is definitely one that I would put in there. This is really cool. And it uses uh, Turkish, Turkish red. What is it called? Weeks Dyrex Turkish Red, which is highly variegated. That is gorgeous. That's a great Christmas red. And I really like their charts. I have never seen their charts, like their physical charts before, and they are so high quality, so easy to read. Um, I won't need to make a separate copy. They're just so easy to read. I love them. And I really like their the charts they have available. So yeah, so I'm excited. I think I will do a video on like 
hot cocoa bar charts and things like that. I'll be doing a 50 um, Christmas ornaments. I'm going to be doing like uh, the pink and glitter patterns. I'm going to do Christmas samplers. I've got a whole range of Christmas cross stitch videos that I'm going to be making and I'm really excited about it. I could even do like a gingerbread one. This one is Christmas wishes. This one's going to be really fast. This is 43 by 68 and it is stitched on 25 count, two over two on 25 count, which I have never done before. So that's the same with this one, two over two. And it's big. I mean, this on 25 count is 12 inches by three and seven eighths. And then on the back, they also provide you with the Hobby Lobby um, skew code. So that way you can finish it the way that's on their, <clears throat> on their chart, if you wish. So I was able to get Country Mocha Lugana, 25 count. So this is for the gingerbread kisses. I think it's really cute. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how big this is and how impactful it will be for Christmas time. I think it's gonna be super cool. So we got that going on. All of this, I wanna start like November. Like November hits, I'm ready to go. And then Jack's Bash. A lot of people are stitching this. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people are stitching that. So I can't wait. I just want to stitch all of the things I'm working towards. Um, I'm not looking to finish Babushka's Blossoms this year. That's just something that I'll continue to work on and have finished for next year. I definitely want to have my squirrels finished this year. I want to finish, um, I want to fully finish quite a few of my Christmas and fall things this year. And I want to work a lot on my finishing. So I just want to like, I want to stitch and I want to finish them. So I'm really excited and looking forward to those things. I really, I think I might've talked fast. I wasn't expecting to finish this soon. And another thing that I talked about in one of my videos that I wanted to, to at least put a few stitches in, I don't know if I will or not, but I thought it would be worth bringing out and showing you is the Not Forgotten Farm Halloween Queen, which I, I really like these. If you watched my videos, I love it when there's a picture within a picture. So like within her dress, there's this entire graveyard and weeping, you know, willow. And I got all of the DMC, so it's fully kitted. I just have to um, figure out how I wanna organize it, which I'll probably do a thread card for this mini. And then I will probably be doing this one over one on 18 count. And this is my own dyed 18 count. Yeah, 18 count tea, coffee, and brown writ dye. And I dyed this in April of 2021. Holy cow. I love how that turned out. I did a good job past Brianna back when she was young and 32. <laughs> so yeah, that is something that I would like to start. Maybe I should just put a few stitches in and then I can work on it. Like you can't finish it if you don't start it. And I wanna work on Halloween and fall all year next year. I don't wanna wait. I wanna do it all year, which I did with, uh, I did with the um, Brenda Gervais patterns, but I wanna do it with like everything. And that was in one of my big bags. I like these for my crochet. So I have some of these bigger ones. And this is one that I made without a handle. Always make a handle for these big bags. I'll tell you what, but I loved it. This was like Walmart fabric. And then this was fabric that I made one of my first dresses in was a skeleton fabric in my mid twenties. <laughs> Love that. And then another thing that I did was I uploaded a, another crochet video and it was about me experimenting with um, Brit dyeing polyester yarn. And I made this ghost ice cream cone with really pretty yarn. So if you're interested in this, this is a pattern by Lenny's Crochet. It's supposed to have like another piece that goes on top. It's a little pumpkin instead of a cherry. And I just, I rolled with it and I like how it came out. So super cute. Well, yeah, I've got a lot to do in the upcoming weeks. 
and I'm really happy to, and I, I'm happy to do it. I look forward to doing it. And I just, again, I'm so grateful that you guys found me. If you're new here, if you're a longtime viewer, I'm so glad that you've been watching. I appreciate y'all so much. And I hope you guys have a great two weeks. And if I don't see you before Halloween, happy Halloween. And I hope you enjoy all the festiv festivities and just enjoy the fall weather and bonfires. And thanks for watching, y'all. I'll see you guys in the next project and in the next video. Happy stitching. Bye.